Okay, for question number th eight, let's talk about, as usual, the overview. Okay, so what do you gotta do? All right, blah, blah, blah. So this is all the setup. Okay, let's not worry about that for a second. Okay, so using Flaherty's criteria for moral agency. Okay, so step number one, you gotta explain what that is, okay? Step number two, once you've set out that, um, that criteria, use it to try to show as best you can that these gatekeepers are gonna go, are gonna um, satisfy the criteria. So again, you know, you're gonna just have a checklist based on the criteria, right? That's the first, that's step number one. And then step number two is to see which of these boxes you can check, okay? Um, step number three, and I probably should revise exactly what this, how I say this, because um, I, when I say make sure you explain what it would mean to be a moral agent, um, what I really mean, and I think maybe I'll actually revise this, is something like, um, uh, how should I put this? Uh, moral agent in terms of moral responsibility, uh, or, you know, uh, mean for the algorithm, uh, to be responsible or something like that. I'll, I'll, res I'll revise the, um, the question. I think I had a note to myself somewhere else that I'll have to look for, which I probably should have found before recording this. C'est la vie. All right. So, um, You'll do, the, you know, this is kind of like a subtask. So you're going to just want to make sure you do that as you're doing question two, probably. And then this last part, you know, question, or, you know, I guess technically this is like four and, 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 ah, sorry. Let's use my sparkly pen in the right way. So set out the strongest objection you can. And then five is explore whether this objection is successful. Um, you know, these two are usually just kind of what I'm doing is saying, um, give an objection and then just sort of talk through it, see, you know, if it works. Um, if you're not sure whether it works, totally fine. Just phrase your not sureness in terms of, you know, here's what I think the problem would be, but here's some things that, you know, might, you know, might affect that. And I'm not sure how to work it out. Um, really, that's what I care most about. Again, I... I'm never almost, well, I'm, I'm rarely looking for you to be right in doing something like that. Um, cause God knows I'm not right <laughs> in most things probably ever. Uh, but what I am looking for is that you at least understand really c clearly what you're talking about. And the sign that you really understand something is that you know what you don't understand, or you know where the bumps are, you know where the warts are. Um, so I, that's really what I'm looking for you to do. So even if you don't do this in terms of like a, here's some responses, or here's some problems, here's some responses, blah, blah, blah. You know, like formally, as long as it comes out in your discussion that it's clear that you know what the problems could be, or you know kind of like what's weird, um, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so just to remind you real quick, you know, the sort of flirty criteria for moral agency, we talked about that. Um, he gives you, um, you know, uh, what were they, let's see, so you know, first we define an agent, right? And then there was some criteria. It was like interactive, uh, autonomous, or he call, or I call it independent, um, adaptable, right? So you say, you know, kind of here's what each of these mean, right? And you just need to say enough about what each of these means so that when we go back to this, you can actually tie it in. Um, and by the way, I... I said go back because that's the way I always approach it, but you don't have to. You can kind of, you could do um, number one and number two together. You're like, okay, so here's what it me would mean to be an agent and a, and a gatekeeper, you know, would be interactive because blah, blah, blah. Uh, it would be independent because of blah, blah, blah. If you do it that way, um, make, it's probably a good idea for each of these to like first at least explain it with a different example. Um, and then tie in the gatekeeper. Uh, you don't have to do it like that, but I just find that when people don't, if you just if they just try to do the, you know the 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 gatekeeper um, example alone, they there's a tendency for folks to leave out 
kind of, or to not explain exactly what this means, I guess. Uh, you know, they kind of just jump right into the gatekeeper thing without doing the, hey, here's what this means part. So that's why I'm really trying to caution you to make sure that you use another example or at least be really super clear and not just paraphrase me, not just, you know, quote Florida, but really make it super clear what these mean. Okay. All right. So you go through each of those, say what they are. Then you remember to be a moral agent is to be able to do like basically uh, moral stuff, you know, to be able to cause... Um, moral goods and bads, right? So if your volcanoes can't because they're not even agents, um, people, you know, blah, blah, blah. You say what this means. And then, you know, you go through, this is number what? Uh, number two and three. Um, then you go through, if you didn't already do this as you were setting the example out, you go through and you're like, bingo, bingo, or, you know, bingo. And then you go, bingo. And then... The um, then you get to summer number three, which is um, again, like I said, what I want is the responsibility part of it, um, because Flirty, as he says, you know, um, he says that we have to split apart our judgments of the the algorithm, you know, being the cause. So when like when Facebook constantly blames their algorithm like oh yeah sure it incited this riot in india where people got killed uh but it is the algorithm it, it messed up you know it wasn't us um that's kind of the f bad side of this approach right um maybe that's not exactly what florida means so that's what i want you to think through um to set out you know and i want you to just be really clear about sort of, if we say that an algorithm is the cause of a morally bad thing, um, what does that mean for responsibility? Can we still hold the engineers that created it responsible? Do we have to find a weird way to, like, send it to algorithm jail? Um, like, what does that mean? And I say this with a genuine open-mindedness. I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to mean, um, and I'm hoping you can set me straight. Uh, I'm hoping I can learn from you on this. Um, and then, you know, what you're going to want to do is just sort of um, figure out where the bumps are. You know, um, maybe this gives you a non-satisfying understanding of moral responsibility. Um, if so, just make sure you put your finger on exactly what it is. You can't just be like, yeah, but this is weird, right? That's not a good argument. I want to hear the best argument you can that something in here has gone wrong. Or maybe you just think this criteria is wrong. Maybe you're like, no, this is totally there's something important about being an agent that this totally misses. Um, remember, for example, just pulling something out, you know, out of thin air, um, you know, we've defined every ter thing in terms of observables, right? Um, that was this whole don't be human centric thing, but maybe agency requires some kind of mental state. I mean, oftentimes we think it does, right? That's the reason why we don't think somebody who, um, uh, has a spasm and knocks somebody else in the head or is sleepwalking and does something. Um, we don't think those people are agents in part because there's no mental state involved. So, you know, you might wonder a little bit about whether or not this stuff, the idea of it being independent and there being an internal logic, which the thing can change itself. You might wonder whether that's enough of a mental state type thing to be doing the work, or you might worry about whether or not this is the right way that you get moral agency out of agency. Um, I'm pretty certain it's not, uh, but, you know, that's up to you. Uh, so again, lots of places you can attack. Don't attack everything. Pick one thing and do a good job of it. Um, I'm really interested to hear what you guys think. Um, use your brains. Uh, just make sure you are doing the setup in a nice, clean and clear way so that I can see exactly where you think the problems are and where you think the possible solutions are. Okay? Hope that helps.